I do smoke weed. I like it. I don't. I'm a hypochondriac too, though. And that's a that's a fucked up combination. Because I think I'm dying every day, and yet I do a drug that induces paranoia. <laughs> That, that, that all came to a head for me in my life. That, it came to a volcanic eruption in my life when I was 22 years old. And I got off work. Uh, I was unloading trucks at Bed Bath & Beyond at the time. You know, a dude's job. <laughs> there's nothing so... There's not a way to take a fucking manual labor job and pussify it. <laughs> Loading trucks at Bed Bath. I got a back brace on and I'm unloading boxes of loofahs. <laughs> <laughs> At 12 pounds, almost slipped my lower lumbar. Thank God, I had the trusty fucking back brace on. <laughs> this dude I worked with, uh, we went back to my apartment, and uh, we took gravity bong hits. That's just what we did after work. We just went home and got high as shit via gravity bong. I love gravity bong hits because they mix uh, seventh grade science and drug addiction, which is it's good times. You do one gravity bong hit, you're high. I did five, oh. like in a row, like bam, 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 bam. And then I went to smoke a cigarette because I don't like myself. And uh, I started getting a chest pain while I was smoking. Uh, uh, and then my left arm started going numb and I'm high, really high. And I'm like, well, I got access to the internet. Why don't I go check WebMD? <laughs> There's never been a worse decision I have ever made in my life than being high with chest pain and checking WebMD. Because WebMD's reaction is like a nervous Jewish grandmother. Every time. You're not going to get something good like chest pain nap it off. You know, it'll be alright. You never get that reaction. You get like the, oh my god, my friend is still son Neil had chest pain and he died. So I type into WebMD. I type in uh, chest pain, left arm numb, and WebMD comes back, heart attack. You're having a heart attack. Go somewhere. <laughs> Preferably not where you are right now. And uh, I called my, uh, my roommate, who at the time was a uh, Guido from Long Island. Uh, gelled hair, big muscles. Dumb as shit. Just a fucking. I'm surprised he could clothe and feed himself. Like that's. He used to make. Uh, if anyone's ever hung out with a Guido from Long Island, you notice they make um, question statements. Where they make like a statement, but it's in the form of a question. Like you come out of his room one and be like, "Yo, these shoes are ill, right?" <laughs> yes. So imagine my dilemma when I'm high, thinking I'm dying. I call him. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Yo, you dying? Hopefully not if you get here and drive me to the hospital. Uh, there's no funny punch-up tag yet for that part of the story. But he did take me to the hospital. I was getting interviewed by the nurse, and I'm telling her my symptoms. Only. I have chest pain, my left arm's numb, and I'm really, really high. It's, that's just what I keep repeating. I'm like, I'm really really high and she keeps responding on cocaine <laughs> that was her response every time I kept saying I'm high I'm like no 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 marijuana but I'm having chest pains my left arm I'm, I'm really high on cocaine <laughs> what do you want a party like what's wrong with you should I go do a line and come back and then we can start this interview process over again this story was way too long for me to do in a 10 minute set. I'll, uh, I'll give you the Reader's Digest version. I go fucking see the doctor, they hook me up to the EKG machine, and uh, I have that like moment in my life where I'm like, I'm on drugs and I think I'm dying, I need to change my life. I'm just gonna change my life. I'm gonna start jogging every morning, and there's dew on the grass, I'm gonna stop smoking, I'm gonna write my mom a letter, just to let her know I love her. <laughs> Fuck it, I might even make her a mixtape. I don't know. It's, uh, I have all these moments, and the doctor comes back in, and he lets me know. He's like, uh, "Mr. Soder, you uh, you blew a muscle in your sternum from coughing." <laughs> but the way he said it 
it was almost like he was like, hey pussy, why don't you learn how to do drugs? You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Thank you.